Hey, Mr. Mayor, um, we would like to ask you a few questions about your uh, remarkable uh, island, the re renewable energy island. Of course. Can you tell us a little about a little bit about uh, what uh, SOMSO did? Yeah. Well, if we take the the history, uh, in uh, 1997, our former Minister of Environment made a competition amongst islands uh, in Denmark the, uh, to become a renewable energy island, and uh, SAMSU won the competition, not because we were ahead of the other islands, but because we were about the average situation in Denmark. And then we made this energy plan to become 100% CO2 neutral after 10 years. And uh, there were a lot of different uh, concrete initiatives in this plan. Not all of them succeeded, but though a lot of people were skeptical in the beginning, we succeeded in becoming CO2 neutral after 10 years. Uh, what is the secret behind your success? Why, why is, it, is it working here? I think uh, the, the secret, if you can, it's not a secret, of course, we, we like to tell about it, is that we involve uh, the people. We involve inhabitants on the island. Uh, people own... Uh, the wind turbines on, on the island and, and offshore as well. Uh, people uh, organize their own district heating plans. We have uh, the construction, uh, the, f the farmers and the local consumers uh, organize together uh, to build their own uh, heating systems. Uh, so, so we involve people on the island. And, and, and how, how do you do that? Because I can understand it's, it's very important to involve your people, but how do you motivate people to, to become part of the solution? Yeah. Well, one main factor is the Energy Academy that we're standing in front of uh, right. right here. Right. And uh, we have some uh, local people uh, employed in the Energy Academy and they're kind of catalysator in, in the process. And they bring people together and try to, to show them well, if, if we work together, all of us have some advantage. If we talk district heating plans, for example, uh, the consumers get uh, a, a little uh, less uh, expenses on their, on their energy uh, counts. Uh, the construction industry gets a lot of work and the farms get a better price for their straw. So all in all, everybody benefits. And so it's easy to, to uh, convince people to be part of that process. One thing that uh, 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 we saw is that we, we took the ferry, of course, to come to, to uh, Samso, and uh, we noticed that we were uh, the ferry was running on, on LNG. Right. Can you tell uh, a little bit more about it? Because I think it's quite unique. Yeah. Well, uh, of course, one of, one of we are, we're we're doing very well in the in the areas of heating and in electricity. One of our uh, main problems is to convert uh, transportation to renewable energy. Right. So it was very important for us to be able to convert the, the ferries. Uh, we're an island and you of course have to to deal with the ferry situation. Uh, to be able to convert that to renewable energy. And uh, the, the, the start of that is converting uh, the, the ferry uh, that formerly was driven by diesel to be able to uh, use LNG. Uh, of course now we have to get it from Rotterdam uh, and a lot of our expenses in uh, in the the fuel uh, our transportation from Rotterdam, but now we are we're driven by LNG. We are able to convert during the next two three years perhaps to biogas produced on the island. So we also can sail to and fro Samso uh, by renewable means. Yeah, I think biogas is a very interesting uh, topic. Well, how do you see the, the the future? Because I think. If you could do it on biogas, that would be great. Yeah, well, we, we took an initiative uh, a year ago to, to try to uh, calculate if it was possible to get a biogas installation on Samsu, and we visited Gotland in, uh, Febru in February. Uh, they have a, a biogas installation that uh, has about the same scale as the one we could have. And uh, until now, it seems that we could be able to produce our own biogas efficiently. Uh, so we can be able to use it for yeah, producing LNG later or yeah, or other uh, means. 
Would uh, biogas also be of importance for you for the for the transportation at the island itself for for vehicles, public it's, it's buses? It's the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, funny enough, I think that uh, if you talk about converting transportation to renewable energy, you start thinking on on the small vehicles, and, and we're we're starting with the with the heavier vehicles, uh, the heaviest uh, our ferry, and then perhaps the the bigger trucks, and then getting downward instead. Uh, I think that's a very funny. Uh, uh, evolution. Well, we have a, a very big truck with us here I saw running that. on I bio saw LNG. Yeah. I think yeah. that's, yeah. A, that's a great connection yeah. then. Yeah. I saw that and I saw to, uh, I talked to some of the people behind those, those initiatives and it might be uh, a possibility to, to cooperate together. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.